Hey guys, so I'm doing another cosplay review and body pillow review. Um, first off, I'm gonna do this one. It is a uh, Fukurodani uh, sweater. So I'm just gonna show you the website first. Um, I bought a female excess, which is... This is from Blue Dream Anime Store, which is on... Uh, on uh, AliExpress, I ordered the female extra small, um, and this is where it is from, and yeah, it was uh, $59.71 for USD, um, you would need to convert it if you live in a different country, of course, However, I do live in Canada, so, so I did pay a bit more for this than what it says here. Um, but yeah, there's currently 10% off of this still, so if you want to order it, it's pretty good. So I'll just show you it on the website. So I need to show you guys on my tablet because, funny story, my AliExpress on my phone randomly decided I'm Vietnamese even though I'm not so it sends me everything like everything is always translated into Vietnamese and I'm like but I'm not Vietnamese like I've never searched up anything in Vietnamese so it got confused so I'm going to show you on my tablet instead so this is what it looks like and then you can choose male or female sizing depending on what gender you are and this is just the sizing so this is the sizing i hope that's like able to be like uh i hope you guys are able to see that i don't know i'll zoom in and you can pause and then look at the sizing and stuff like that. But definitely, I'll leave a link in the description box below. So that way it's easier. There's men's and women's sizing chart there. Um, I recommend ordering one size up because I did order like a size that was like technically my size. But I, or I recommend ordering one size up because this does feel like it's a... I think this might be Canadian, like, American sizing because the way it's sized. Because I am as extra small to small, technically speaking. So, yeah. But you can see my measurements here. There's uh, centimeters and there's inches. If you want to see, like, if you're close to my size, what I ordered. Um, but if you want a baggier one, I definitely recommend... A bigger size like order one size up if you one or two sizes up if you're okay with like the tighter fit then order your size this does feel like a US sizing though because of how small it is for an extra small so yeah so this is the front when I wear it you guys will see the front better but for now this is what it is and in the back, it says the Fukurodani. The only thing is, this is not embroidered. I did a cosplay review for my, uh, the Karasuno one, which is from Cosplay Shopper, a different site, but I don't think they have this one. It, it took me a long time to find something like this, so definitely the place I found on AliExpress was really good because I didn't see this anywhere else. So yeah, so you can, um, See, this backing is not, like, um, embroidered. It's more of the painted-on plasticky thing. So, eventually, it might, like, rub off if, you're, if you wear it constantly. But if you just wear it for cosplay, it shouldn't be, like, scratched off that much. So, it just depends on how often you plan on wearing it. I've worn this outside a couple times, so... It did last. It's not, like, anything rubbed off, so it was okay. And then these parts are like separate fabrics stitched on the gold and the uh, black. I think there's ones you can buy on Amazon too, but I ended up going for this one. 
I think because this one looked more gold. The other one looked more highlighty yellow, like a highlighter yellow, which is really, I don't like neon yellow. And this is more accurate, so I decided to get it. Yeah, I'll just wear it for you guys to see. But this part is the stretchy part, and this part isn't. Like, the fabric for these jackets, because they're, like, sporty, they're not really stretchy. But they're good for, like, wearing in, like, a fallish, fall to spring type of setting, like, for how warm they are. And you can wear this on, like, a cold, like, summer night or something like this. But definitely, these are pretty good. Like, you could technically wear this if you wanted to go on a light jog. However, this is not, like, sweat absorbent like actual sports clothing so i would say you can still wear it just don't do like so much exercise in it because this is cosplay this is not like an actual sweat jacket so yeah so this part is stretchy and then the bottom part is stretchy too however everything else is not stretchy inside there's lining right here but you can see like this is like a see-through type of lining like you can see poking girl down and poking out from behind but yeah but it's lined really nicely it's very comfortable i'll just wear it so you guys can see this one did not come with pants i know the the other one the karasuno one came with pants but that one was like a full-on thing while this one isn't so yeah it's just the jacket if you want Bokuto's pants, though, I will say they are on, um, you can buy, like, his full-on cosplay, like, his jersey, not the jacket, but the jersey, and get his shorts with it, but this is just what it is. And then the zipper is just this white zipper over here. So you'll notice like it's a bit baggy on me because I am skinny and there's the pockets. I forgot to mention the pockets. The pockets are pretty big so it's nice and comfy to put your hands in. It's not like super tight or anything like that. Um, so the only thing I will say is my mistake is ordering an extra small. I should have ordered a small to medium because... This is not my arm length. You'll notice, like, normally it should go up to, like, here, not here. But clearly it's a bit small for me. So I would say order one size or two size up just for that. But because of my bust size, I want it to be, like, kind of tight. So I worry about the side the most, like, this part of my body the most. So I end up ordering something to fit this rather than really really most of the cosplays that i ordered the sleeves have been okay this one however because it's like a jacket i think that's how it became like that but most of them the sleeves are normally the right size for me i guess this one's just like the accurate sleeves so it's like that so yeah so definitely order a size or two up if you're planning on buying this i'll show you guys the back if I can. Yeah, so that, so yeah, this one's really cool to wear. I would say it's, I like these because they're like subtle cosplays. Like you're not really cosplaying. It's just like a cool jacket you can wear outside. I used to really like sporty jackets a lot. So, and so this is actually a nice one to wear like normally. So yeah, so that's it for this one and then i'm going to review the pillow now which is this bokuto if i am searching up the price though but i have a link in the description box below for like if you want to order this jacket it's really nice i think this is more american sizing rather than asian sizing because it's not that small compared to me so and it's like right here so i can tell it's american sizing because it's perfectly fitting me because it's an extra small if it was like can 
it was like Chinese sizing, extra small would be way too small and I wouldn't even be able to fit it over myself. So there's differences between sizing. So all of these were on sale. Some of them were more expensive than others because the pillows that I bought were like different pricing, like because I ordered them at different times and these were just new when they came out. So some of them were a bit like uh, pricey. So the Haiku ones are a bit newer than like the My Hero Academia ones. So if you're ordering and wondering the prices, that's why um, this was $102. Dollars and 86 um, cents. The sweater came within less than a month. So I would say these are really fast. Like it took around a month to come. So they're really fast. I think they had this delivered by FedEx, which is really strange because I guess I didn't read what shipping company they used, but they used FedEx and they didn't give me a tracking code or anything like that, I think. And I just basically didn't know when it was coming. And then it came one day during quarantine. So it took like around a month or two. It took one month, actually. So it was pretty good. So for this pillow, it took roughly, I want to say a month, too. So when I ordered it. So yeah. So, this is the front side. He's giving a thumbs up. Um, for his print, it seems really small compared to the others. Like, you can tell because it's small and Bak Bak Bakugo's face is, like, huge. This is from My Hero. And this one's from Haikyuu. But, for some reason, they printed him pretty small. I guess they didn't enlarge the picture enough but they wanted the thumbs up to fit in. So I guess that's how small it had to be for that to happen. So yeah, so I can tell like if they enlarged it too big, this wouldn't be there. And keep cutting off my face because I keep going like this. <laughs> but yeah, so as his name written on there, I think these are their names because my dad was reading them because he can read Chinese. So Japanese is kind of like some form of Chinese, like a mix between traditional and uh, simplified, so he can actually read the writing. So yeah, and then he has his number, super cute, and then yeah. I like how the background is just like um, colorful to match them, so it's like a light blue to match like the dark, like the dark black here. With the, and they gave this a bluish tinge, which is pretty nice. So you can see it's kind of navy, and then it matches the light blue, and then the yellow matches his yellow up here. So yeah. And then far in the distance, in the corner, <laughs> is a tiny volleyball that's being hit. So yeah, <laughs> super cute. And then his back is him like this. This is a way smaller print, but it fits his whole body. I noticed for the high key ones, they're not blown up like the, um, sorry if the lighting changed. I feel like the lighting changed because in my room, I didn't turn on the light, but I'm using sunlight, so sorry if the lighting changed. But yeah, I noticed for the high key ones, they have like this smaller print, so you can see all their body. As for the My Hero Academia ones, they're all blown up, so that way they're like nicely proportioned, like if you put them next to you. But it's okay. I prefer the bigger blown up ones just because the face, but I can see like the niceness in like putting the whole body on it too. So yeah, so this one's him. He's holding a volleyball. I decided to do this review first too because I like Bokuto and then Quirrell is next. So yeah, I did a Sugawara one, which is in my... I'll probably put it in my cosplays playlist because it has cosplay. So this is the inner pillow. Same thing as Suga's. Um, I don't know if I can open this one. Last one got stuck with the cosplay.
funny. So it's all just caught in fluff. So if you wanted to take some out or add some more stuffing, you can do that. It's just caught in in there. These are just like the cheap um inner pillows that they have. It feels kind of plasticky. But basically, this is the type of pillow that they have for the inner, like the fillers. If you want the actual nicer ones, they do sell them separately. It's a bit more costly if you do that though, but you can buy the body pillow, like the cover separately. So then you don't have to pay for the filler and then just buy a pillow. I know people do a thing where they actually just buy one pillow and then they switch out their body pillow covers constantly. Um, I just don't feel like doing that because <laughs> I'd prefer them all to be like already stuffed because it's kind of inconvenient for me to be like oh I feel like this character today and then tries to shove it on the pillow and then has to keep switching out like I guess it depends on how much room you have I just have enough room for this much but I probably won't order that many anymore after this so yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um the next video will be of Koro for sure and then and try to do drawing videos because I haven't done so much. <laughs> so yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.